Hi there ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls of Planet YouTube. Thanks for stopping by to check out my latest video. If you do like what you see, please, please subscribe or hit the notification bell. That way, anytime I do upload any content, um, you get alerted to that and you can drop by and watch it. Also, please comment below, drop a like on the video. Everything's really, really appreciated. I'm almost at my milestone, a thousand subscribers. So as I said, please subscribe. Also, please feel free to check me out on Twitch. Link again down below. All my live streaming is on there, my gaming, my in real live streaming, when I'm fishing with the family, etc. So, thanks for stopping by, and once again, please subscribe. Thanks. Evening, everybody. Evening thanks for popping everybody. along tonight. Thanks for popping along tonight. So, what are the plans for tonight? I'm just going to be rallying Cry the Dragon Slayer. So, at the moment, before the raid starts I'm just getting my world bus um, by the way if anybody doesn't know the quickest way to get your Sandalar bus after you've got your Dragon Slayer buff you've got a Sentinel Hill if you just watch this it'll it's the quickest way to get there it saves you quite a bit of time but what are the plans for tonight um, there isn't much in the way of any news this week um, with with classic certainly so we'll be getting buffed up we'll also maybe watch a uh, video or two in regards to what's been popular on YouTube lately in regards to the game we'll just wing it we'll play it by ear Now everybody moves like a maniac. So the plan is Sandalar buff, Earthstone to Ironforge, then drop down to UBRS, pick up the fire resistance buff in UBRS in a while. So after we have after we parked outside UBRS, what I can do then is uh, we'll have a watch of a couple of YouTube videos, see if there's anything interesting on there. Don't just hate priests thinking that Jesus walking on water. Ah, no. Oh, I've done it. Oh, man. How to play like a noob. We well, get the idea anyway what you should do. Unless you're me. Okay, let's uh, just pop up the browser. What should we watch? Um, are you feeling burned out in classic? Let's give that one a go. Hang on, just bear me a sec. So, 
This is by uh, Lee, so let's check this one out. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Willie here. Feeling a bit burnt out with Classic at all, recently I've seen a bit of a pickup in the number of people wanting to take a break or not finding a whole lot to do. Do you feel like you're running out of things to work towards on your character? Or even characters, perhaps? I'm pretty sure that I've mentioned this before, but in Classic more so than any other iteration of World of Warcraft, you kind of need to make your own content and set your own personal goals to reach because Let's be real, there's only so many ZGs you can run on so many characters a week, and there are only so many pre-made battlegrounds you can roll over your opposition with before it starts wearing a little bit thin. Well, at least it does for most players. I used to go through cycles of playing loads on retail and then getting burned out and stopping for literally years to the point where I know what kind of stuff starts off the cycle and I cut it out there. One of the main offenders is always thinking the grass is greener on the other side, re-rolling. Try not only to level but gearing so many alts where at the start gearing is super fast and it feels like you're getting loads done but then you sort of hit that point where you are on your main where you only really have a few upgrades left and you run dungeons or raids again and again and again but that savage gladiators chain or chromatically tempered sword just never drop and you end up getting demotivated to continue especially when you realize that once you do finish those final items off you're just gonna have another completed character so to speak and then you start it all over again and that's the that's the thing that's pretty much spot on uh, with classic at the moment uh, it's desperately needing AQ to come out as quickly as possible. Um, there are so many players on the server who are not playing at the moment, or well on our server anyway, another guard keep. And um, a lot of people at the moment are just logging into raid, which is a shame. It is a real, real shame. So they need to keep that content, com content coming out on a regular basis, um, especially with the way the content's been at the moment, is with it being so easy. Uh, when guilds were going on the first night after Blackwing Lair was released and doing it in a, an hour or so and yeah that's my thoughts on that anyway. Even if you make it that far many people are still stuck in leveling over and over well at least if you are at that point you do have end game to look forward to. Then again I know some people that do exactly this and they're still going along fine so it's what some people enjoy and that's good for them but for many it can surely wear your enjoyment of the game down over time and as a rule i don't play more than two characters actively at once any more than that and it gets a bit much to keep up with for me yeah that's another thing um you can only make so many alts um i'm on my third alt now well my fourth alt i've got two in the 30s and i've got two 60s um and the repetitiveness of doing it the third or the fourth time the same quest it's uh pretty mind numbing um, so I've been spending a lot of time being leveled up in dungeons paying people to level me up paying people gold in game um, which is actually quicker as well so well anyway let's carry on with the vid speaking about re-rolling we have that little hurdle known as leveling it takes a long time a very long time and that's even if you know what you're doing in terms of rooting out zones and many people just don't like doing it either which is kind of a shame as it's such a huge part of the game. I guess once you've seen it through a few times that's more than enough for many so people turn to paying for boosts through the whole process so they can just sort of skip straight to the action at the end which personally starting off a fresh 60 trying to get into dungeons now as a player without a group or a guild or who can't tank sounds like it would be a real struggle. Anyways I think the trend of boosting straight to the end is turning into a pretty negative thing overall. It's making a lot of people skip time still got the echo now can you let me know I'm trying to see if there's anything open at all that might be causing an echo 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 is that what that nothing there no i've just closed twitch down so we should be okay now so let's crack back on and where they could have learned their class through a bit better overall and taking time to do those levels learning all of their abilities at their class trainer finding out what works for them oh and actually getting your class quest i mean when you hear about warriors at 60 without berserker stance paladins that don't have resurrect or shamans without totems it's crazy that people basically don't want to actually play the game or think about the game starting until level cap and i know pve rotations are quite literally one button for most classes but 
people use that as an excuse to undermine detail that goes into making you actually good at your class. Take a mage, for example, that's been boosted nearly all the way. I know the booster becomes the boosty. It happens. Anyway, your PvE rotation is just Frostbolt or Fireball, right? Class is easy. You barely need to know anything. But then you wouldn't be able to answer what rank of Frost Nova should you be using if you had a Mana Shield Fire Ward and an Ice Barrier up. Which takes damage first and why? In what scenario should you use Amplify or Dampen Magic? When is Detect Magic actually useful? And so on. I think you can see what I mean here. It would be the same as a fresh 60 Warrior. Warriors rely so heavily on macroing well to save bar space and just make the class more easy to play. You'd be missing out on all of that if you were just a fresh 60 having been boosted the whole way. Honestly, I think that getting a boost all the way to 60 is kind of like paying for a boost in retail to be completely honest. It's not quite as on the same level, but you're going straight to the end game, skipping everything in between and getting straight into gearing with a pretty basic or near non-existent understanding. Understanding of what your class actually does. It's different, of course, if you've played your class for years and years on private servers. I can get why you would just want to be level 60 and get straight into the action, but for returning or newer players trying to level alts, going through content and just seeing dungeon boost spam in LFG and world all day every day and finally thinking, you know, fine, I can't seem to get a group going, I'm just going to grind gold on my main and pay my alt through leveling and that I'll be able to play the game at 60 properly. And when they are 60, they realize they don't know what's going on, only to try and perk, cause problems, not have learned important spells and so on. I just think overall, it's not a good look for the game. Maybe this is just me. I don't really mind leveling at all. In fact, I couldn't imagine sitting there waiting for dungeon reset after dungeon reset I always feel like I need to be doing something if I'm actually logged into the game. I mean, it's weird. You play a game for fun, but then you're paying somebody else to skip a huge portion of the game for you. That's why it's kind of like a retail boost. It just takes longer overall. I do see now how people get into leveling speedruns. It's kind of fun to have completed a whole zone in a super efficient manner. And this is coming from someone who did a few hours of the Seven Man Scarlet Monastery Cathedral and a few hours of the Lyceum in the first week before sort of getting bored of the whole thing. And somebody who is now working on their sixth level 60, just done fruit questing. Thinking about it, it's even crazier how many people opted into spell cleaves early on to level. In fact, it feels like they're totally gone now and it's just boost or level normally. For me, I have quite a few goals that I'm looking to reach. One of the biggest ones has to be to level every single class to level cap. I know since I started back in late vanilla, I've always been the most interested in checking out what each class can do and get an understanding. Not for me. I, I don't think I could ever do that now. Um, when I was younger, I did it, um, but I don't actually think I could just put the time and effort into uh, level, leveling every single class to 60 now. Um, good on you, Willie, but it's uh, something that's not for me. Myself of what makes them good, personally. And in every expansion to come, I pretty much always leveled each and every class all the way to level cap as just sort of something I do throughout the duration of an expansion. Of course, lately in Legion, and especially in BFA, it's so incredibly fast to level now that when I was leveling, I was doing 110 to 120 run in a couple of hours with all the XP buffs running. For Classic though, well, it's going to take me a little bit longer, especially when I'm just leveling through questing and doing the occasional dungeon. And I'll admit I'm partially doing this in the hopes of TBC being a thing and that I can do the same all the way to 70 once those servers come around. I severely doubt we're going to get any form of character progression reset come the start of TBC. I know personally that I would like to, a certain extent, some of what I put my time into doing in Classic to still be there in TBC. On top of this, I've always been somebody that purposefully made a point to re-roll more or less every single expansion in World of Warcraft on retail because I thought, well, I've played this class for a while now, let's change it up. Which That's a really good point as well. Um, the only reason I would level an alt maybe is for Burning Crusade when that comes out um, to level from 60 to 70 because it'd be surprising, I think, how many people are going to change they're all their main characters when TBC comes out. Um, shamans become available, obviously. Not shamans, we're not in America. It's shamans become available. Um, 
to the alliance and obviously then Horde will get the paladins um, I think we're going to see a lot of shamans uh, being rerolled in alliance so um, what would be interesting um, because everybody will have played the main class for over a year will they be bored of it will they want to try something new I think quite a lot of people will but we'll see time will tell means that I've ended up with such a widespread of various characters that have completed an expansion so to speak. This is one of the things that makes the whole collection meta daunting for me and I know that so much of it is consolidated now but I just like everything to be in one place if you know what I mean. So in classic this is my time to actually fulfill that goal and play the game in a bit more of a completionist way. This is made more difficult by lack of bag space but just as some examples of why I always have something to do I would like to get the following done. I want to get as many reputations as possible to 999 out of a thousand exalted i want to have all classes at 60 i want to see if i can solo all dungeons on my warlock i want to complete all raid content and have all tier sets i'd like to do 1000 diamond all east runs have about 10k raw gold earn an epic mount on every class look at getting all the companion pets i would do mounts as well but bag space is the thing and yeah there's no rank goal for me or pvp goal i like to be able to do things at my own pace not be forced into one grind for a long time Maybe there's other things as well that I'll discover as I go through the game. Let me know if that sounds interesting to follow along at all, because as I say, I would like to work what I'm doing in-game into my content too at some point, as perhaps a different style from my usual stuff. So that's why whenever I log in, I have something to do beyond the big three of raid, PvP or farm gold. And yeah, that's a lot to do, but it shows how classic is more about what you set as a goal rather than what the game has to offer as goals. This is the big difference from retail when you log on. There's no dailies, there's no running old raids for mount or transmog, there's no weekly objectives, mythic plus or anything else. There's so much repeatable content that's been added to the game. Some of it's good, some of it's bad in my opinion. Min max attitudes not just in PvE or PvP, but from an overall overarching standpoint are a good way to get to the end of your journey on a character in potentially a matter of weeks and then find yourself with just another decked out raid logger classic certainly has a smaller cutoff point in terms of where content really comes to an end point well unless you want to rank that is but i can understand that aside from not being for everyone even fewer people actually have the time to invest into getting a high rank all of this being said content in classic is coming out at a pretty fast pace still I'm expecting phase five to be quite soon, which considering we're about 10 months from release, well, it's yeah. a fair bit faster than it ever was in vanilla, as I just happened to have detailed in my previous video. I can see phase five coming out sometime next month in July. Uh, we really, really do need it. We need AQ to try and get some interest back into the game. So even if you are taking a break at the moment, it always feels like the next big content phase isn't too far away. And AQ40, also than other raids, does have a fair bit more preparation to be done in terms of consumables and resist gear. Well, that's at least how it's being presented at the moment. We'll have to see how it actually plays out soon enough, I guess. Aside from all this though, and everything I've gone over so far, I think Classic has retained more players than Blizzard expected, than I expected, and even the player base itself expected. The game has done well, really well overall, which is a great sign for the future to come of legacy content and I still think it has a good amount of time left in it as well. And all of this isn't even considering those guys stuck with two level 37s, a level 26, and a main who's a level 49 at this point. If I could give you one bit of advice, pick a main, stick with it, get it to 60. If you do like leveling alts as much as I do, I can tell you that it's a whole lot more fun when you can actually get them some decent gear, bags, and amount to level 40, instead of running about with a level 20 quest reward at level 40 or something. In fact, this may be one of the more fun things about actually gearing an alt, seeing their gear progress as they gain levels, which, unlike gearing at endgame, doesn't rely upon you having to find a tank, which can be a real nightmare at times. Anyhow, how are you all doing in Classic so far? Keeping busy? Running low on things to do? Do you have any projects at all to complete throughout the duration of Classic? I know tier 0.5 would be a cool one potentially to add to my list as well, so you can let me know what you're working on below, and I will see you very soon. If you like what you see, give the video a like, and subscribe as there'll be plenty more to come. Take Interesting video. Very, very, very good video. I really like that. Um, yeah, um, he had some quite good points there. Um, but I think overall, it just shows you how in desperate need for AQ to be released as soon as possible so hopefully next month um, 
let's log my oh I'll give it five minutes and I'll log my main on oh that's not nice beat him <laughs> I'm good mate how are you mate What, you a dad? Or dead? <laughs> okay, everybody, get ready, last egg. Start making your way to the middle. Right, well recovered there, guys. And as I said, strip away. Silver mantle burning adrenaline. Dwarf gang, Ben in the gun limp. Watch your threat, rogues. Oh. <laughs> I think that second nightmare no, no, quit it. <laughs> that would have been quite bad. Do you want to wedge yourself against the walls so you don't take the blast? You don't want people getting blasted around the room. And AOE down the well first, guys. Yeah, all DPS AOE down the welts when the followers here, all the ranged. Easier, please get into tanking position. It's back on our way, good. Oh, 
storm. Right, as soon as he's down, guys, run away from the door. We're going to clear the room of whelks. There we go, let's go. We're going to grab all. Buffett coming for Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the second one. Roger. Start running in at eight seconds, Glor. Yeah. Spawns in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Hold him a little bit faster. Okay. It doesn't matter if you have him for more seconds. Uh, Robber have you sooner than later. That was it, came up quick then. <laughs> Bring him down. Good job, guys. Hold on. Okay, pull him, Larissa. Next time, uh, Moli, you stand. Start Moli turn. Form your neck. Torn off me. Torn, torn. It's on me, it's fine. Uh, Moli, you're back again. Holy taunt. Next cup is for you, Thor. Taunt. Thorm. Taunt. Resist it again. Uh, resist it with me as well. Uh, Thorm. Taunt. Next up is my. Up by Thorm. Yeah, got him. Next up is Moli. Moli, Tom. Got him. Thank you. Storm, you're up next.
Thorn, Thorn. Next up is Aard. Taunted. Next up is Mo. Moly, Thorn. Thorn, Thorn, Thorn. Next up, Aardbei. Taunted. Aardbei is it. And finished. Good one. Well done, guys. Hunter. Hunter. Form, you're up next. Trank shot. Hunter's oh, coming in to get these trank shots. He's taking the next one, Thorn. 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 Yeah, good one. Hunt trank shot. Come on. I'm down. Moly's, I'm down. Not the spawn we can do with two, but let's get a battle res on our bay anyway. Ready to step in his spawn. Yeah, if you get into our base position until he's back, go off. Yeah. So get ready to take the wind buffet. Melee, watch out. Trank shot. Should I take it now, Tom? Hunters, get the trunk shots off. Taunt. Now. Guys, trunk shot. Thank you. What are they playing at? Getting back into position. Should be dead. Oh, right, we made it. Well done there, healers. I think that's all. Sort of yeah, a lot of pressure on the healer. Awesome. Didn't realise I'm the boss. I forgot to change back. Yeah, everybody hide. Okay, everybody out and stay out apart from healers in odd groups. Healers in odd groups, stay hidden. Everybody else out. Hunters get ready with trunk shots. Okay, everybody hide. Okay, everybody out apart from healers in even groups and uh, turn. Everybody else out. No more cooldowns for me. Keep me up. Time lapse. He's on Gorgma. Gorgma's dead. Soraya now. Go in. You got him. Good job. Well done. Well done, guys. That was hard mode. <coughs> the hardest mode. Just a bit. Chat. Look 
at me, I'm a dragon. <laughs> Fried chicken. Yeah, dragons are fat. So We've got five minutes, let's have a look. I'm a tiny dragon. Let's just watch this. But to be honest, uh, Munkins got even more ridiculous with Twitter. I don't know if you Let me mute Discord a second. Okay, here we go. A terrible war has ravaged the land. A terrible war has ravaged the land. Hundreds have fallen and their corpses litter the ground. Yet neither side ever falters. Oh, this violence in the name of the ultimate prize. Back off, you losers. It's mine. I was here first. <laughs> Shut up. I've been farming this area since 3 a.m. because I'm unemployed and have nothing else going for me. Let me have it. Hey, guys, calm down. Let's just roll for it. Nothing to roll for, you idiots. I'll kill all the <laughs> 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 An arcane crystal. I wonder how much the vendor will pay me for this. I've been farming this new all morning. <laughs> what a total idiot. Get back to retail, scrub. Look, kid, it's not me. It, it's you. I need to be a pocket healer for other warriors. So, yeah, sayonara. <laughs> Get wrecked, noob. I injured your savage gladiator gene. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, huh? Guess it's back to another year of grinding, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> oh, classic. Okay guys, roll for Edge of Chaos. Oh boy, the axe dropped. I've been wanting to get this one for ages. What did you just say? That I'm happy that I'll get a chance to get this axe? Shut up! Who do you think you are? You, a Thorin, trying to get an axe? But, but, but I... What? You're gonna milk all over me? The DPS boost of an orc getting that axe in comparison to you will allow us to do Blackwing Lair around 10 seconds faster. I need to be in bed by 10 p.m. or my mom will whoop my ass. So know your place, trash. Learn to pick a good <laughs> race next time. What? He left the guild? I swear nobody can handle constructive criticism around here. God. Hey, I'll be right there, guys. Just had to stop by Orgrimmar. <laughs> you got any world buffs on you? <sighs> I think I smell world no, buffs you on you. Hmm? <laughs> but please, I beg you, man. I have a family and kids. My wallet won't handle another year at the therapist. Hush, child. The light has shown me the way. And that way requires me to dispel world buffs from idiots like you. That's fine. So I can feel good about myself despite my numerous insecurities. You want to talk about it? <laughs> Brilliant. Hold that fuck. I'm going out to the middle. Moving. I'd basically go with him. Oh, 
very cool, so we're going to save our combat res for now. Yeah, no, absolutely. Rat. Will somebody tell me when to combat res go? No, no. Don't, don't do it, please. I need to save it in case the dwarf priest goes down. Roll, Roll class call. Call. to call guys you're getting clean there Cool. I've got no fear ward at the moment. You're always getting your fear ward straight away, pretty much. Thank you. We're certainly better on pulling spider. Seen it from the melees. I don't know what's going on behind us though. Yeah, we went for the cave, well, at spawn place. We still Don't had some you. though, so if you're all in you the cave, tell it, yeah. it might not make any difference. to pick up the ads. Okay. I'll stay with our bank in case he dies. My rebirth is up. <laughs> Off tank and majors get ready for phase three. Warlock call majors gather them up. Awesome. Off time to pick these abs up. Get them all together. Well, let the other group get here. Now frosting over them, well done. If you get any ads on you, run to the pack. Don't take them away and split them up. Priest call. Careful with the healing. If you're not a priest, help out on main tank healing. Well done. Okay. Odd left, even right. We all know what to do. Who is Odd and why did he leave? 
Right. Yeah, let's go. Phileos and Hobo Joe, if you joined. Watch your threat in this fight, guys. It's the main thing to be concerned with. Very, very Phase 1, it's very light threat and class as well. Maybe it's your first time here. No, the dish. Okay. Stop DPSing. I saw that. Dwarf can. Wait right, until he's in position. And he's in position, like no one go over 60%. Oh. Okay, nice and steady. Now hit it very hard and very fast. Probably going to be torn picking her up. You will die. Beware. Get the tank in stock, please. Tadaria. Hope I drive pain death if you can. Larian up until Tom takes over. Beware. Get the whelps down. Hit it like you mean it. Just press please. Now hit it very hard. Play the flash if you can. Why is he on me? Oh, sorry, got it for him. I can't see you either, are I? Yeah, but that's because I'm too far ahead of you guys. No, I see our <laughs> He is way down. He's at 60. Yeah, he is. He's way down. For someone who is being way down. I... Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll Good see night, you guys. on Sunday. Um, I'm out looking at the back and watch a few. Uh... I'd like. Log in early on Sunday, watch a few videos and what have you and things like that. And hopefully there's some more news before then as well. Uh, hopefully we might hear something about AQ. You never know. But, thanks for watching. See you Sunday. Bye.